Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television. I'm here at the Nelson County Extension Office with Luke Fries, who is the Family and Consumer Science Agent. And today we're continuing our stroll through the 2019 Food and Nutrition Calendar. Absolutely. And today <coughs> we're on the month of April and we're going to make pineapple fried rice. Yeah, so this, uh, we've actually, Terry and I, our NEP assistant, who everybody met last month. Right. Uh, we've been going into schools and cooking this with some high schoolers, and they've really enjoyed it. So um, we're kind of tired of cooking fried rice, but we're going to do it one more time for, for Central Kentucky for posterity. Television. So, yeah. Um, it is a good recipe, and we actually, I think last month we told you we were all out of calendars. We've got some more calendars in, so oh, we're good. not just sharing one copy. We've both got exactly. copies this That's time. Great. We have to pass it back and forth. So. So, Absolutely. Um, and as we said, this is the 2019 Food and Nutrition Calendar, and every month they do have a different recipe that we're going to be working our way through this year. It kind of tells you the recipe, all the things that make it healthy. Now, as we said, this is a nutrition calendar, but this is fried rice. Right. right. So, so I was just two of them before, don't, yes. before we started the show, we've... Uh, We've actually got the onions and the garlic and the peppers sauteing right now. And they don't, they're not really sauteing because we are using the pineapple juice, <coughs> excuse me, from the can of pineapple that we opened. So I've never made fried rice without oil, but this one is, is one of those versions. So. And it works evidently. Yeah, I mean, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. You can, be the, you can be the judge and the audience can be the judge once they try this out at home. So, so before we got started, as you can see, it's already kind of smoking and stuff's going on here. We're already cooking. We're already cooking here. Right. Yeah. So Not with gas, but electric. We're cooking. <laughs> but so what, how do you start off? So you, uh, you're going to open up the can of uh, pineapples, uh, okay. pineapple, pineapple tidbits, and it's going to have some extra juice. So it calls for an eight ounce can of, of those, and it has that extra juice. So you're going to reserve the extra juice, and then that's what you're going to start out with. That's kind of like your oil. Okay. Um, and then we've diced up the onions. It calls for one small onion. Of course, all, I feel like all the vegetables you can get in the store now are ginormous. So um, <laughs> if you don't like onion, you don't have to use as much. But if you do, by all means, you know, get a medium large size onion and put it all in there. So right. we've used uh, just kind of a medium sized onion. We used half of it. Okay. Um, and then we've got a half of a bell pepper in there. Again, if you like more bell pepper in yours, you can, you can add more. And then we've got, um, I believe it calls for a tablespoon of garlic. Okay. Um, so we've got that all simmering there and it's going to cook up and it tells you to go ahead and wait until the bell pepper is soft. We don't really know if the bell pepper is soft, but um, it's up to you, your taste, how you like mm -hmm. the consistency. Some people like the crunch in an onion still in their fried rice. Some people like it to be uh, softer so you're not getting that texture issue. So Okay. Um, Why don't we, while we're waiting on our softening of our yeah. pepper there, we're going through, close. yeah, um, the recipe that consists of, you're going to have, as you've mentioned, the pineapple tidbits and the juice. Mm -hmm. We have an onion, minced garlic, red bell pepper. Mm -hmm. We're going to have cooked brown rice, and brown rice is actually better for you than That's what they rice, say. Right? So one, one of the big things, especially in our nutrition <coughs> education program, those onions are probably getting to you, aren't they, Gary? <laughs> um, is to make half your grains whole throughout the day, which means, you know, if, if you go to the store, you can get either the not the not so whole grain version, which is, but if, it, if it's whole grain, it'll say on the box, it'll say whole grain. Okay. Some people get confused between whole wheat and whole grain. If you look at the back of the box on the ingredient list of any pasta or rice, um, it'll say the first ingredient will be whole grain, name that grain. So um, okay. look out for that. If you don't like brown rice and you don't like that as a whole grain, you can ov obviously substitute a different kind of rice, whether it's jasmine or white or um, mm -hmm. whatever you'd like to substitute for that. But this okay. is definitely what we, we would recommend is from a good. nutritional value standpoint. Very good. And then we're going to have frozen peas and carrots, mm -hmm. corn, the low sodium soy sauce. Now soy sauce, I love soy sauce, but it <laughs> is really uh, high in sodium traditionally. Traditionally, right? yes. So this does call for low sodium soy sauce and you can find that usually it's, you know, they'll have a green label on mm -hmm. there or something that will signify that that is low sodium. So you can find that. Um, and really it calls for a fourth a cup of it. So that's mm -hmm. quite a bit. I mean, it, you're adding a, a lot of salt anyway, so you wouldn't want to use the full fledged uh, leaded version for lack of a better term of that soy sauce. It's going to be really salty. That would be really salty. <laughs> going to have eggs, red, uh, red pepper flakes, hot sauce, shrimp, 
mm -hmm. and then some peanuts and green onions. Yep. So as we said, we got started. We had our juice in there. Yep. And we and have I think the we're ready to go. So okay. um, our next um, instruction here is to go ahead and add the, now it says cooked rice, peas, and carrots, corn and, corn and soy sauce. Um, we're going to stir to combine those things. When we made this at the high schools, and as I've made this recipe, um, I've realized that it's a lot better if you wait till the end to add the rice, because if you add the rice early and you add in all this liquid, that rice, since it's already cooked, gets mushy, and then it just doesn't look very good. So it, it tastes the same. If you want to go ahead and follow all the instructions, mm -hmm. go, go for it. But for aesthetics today, we're going to wait till the end to add the rice, but we'll go okay. ahead. We'll add the all the frozen vegetables, and these are frozen. Just a, we got these in a frozen bag mm -hmm. of uh, those are peas and carrots. You can get those exclusively in a bag, and then um, I believe it's a cup of sweet corn. So okay, so we're just going to uh, turn up the heat a little bit on that, and then Gary, if you want to add that soy sauce, we got a fourth of a cup, like you said, of low sodium soy sauce. You can just go ahead and dump it all in there. Okay. And we're going to... As it gets nicer with... Since we're getting into the nice weather, we'll eventually yeah. have fresh vegetables that you could potentially use as well. Right. If you want to, and freeze them and then put them in there. Yeah, and it calls for frozen. I mean, you can use canned if you have canned. You can use fresh if you've got the fresh version. Um, whatever it is that you've got in your fridge, you can use. But cool. um, it's going to be a little difficult to turn up the heat on this one. If you're using a gas stove, it obviously you can <laughs> adjust the heat a little easier. These, these ranges sometimes get a little finicky, but um, we're just going to let that heat up for a second, and then we're going to put our egg in the middle. Um, okay, and you already and had your egg. This, this egg, egg is the only thing in this recipe that really needs to be, make sure that you have it all the way cooked. Everything else is cooked um, already, so it calls for the, the fully cooked shrimp. So um, okay. we're just going to heat all that stuff up. But the egg, we want to make sure we cook to, to the temperature. We want to make sure all the egg is cooked through. Um, that's for food safety practices. It's just good to make sure that your eggs are cooked, eggs, meat, anything like that needs to be fully cooked. So in a second, we are going to, uh, we're going to make a little hole. And I don't know if the camera can see that or not, but we're going to okay. make a little hole. Um, and that's going to be, I always, I, I told the high schoolers, it's kind of like an egg in a basket, you know, uh -huh. whenever you do it with the, with the toast. toast and, yeah. yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's kind of how we're going to do it. We're going to make a little hole here. Um, it looks like we're getting fairly close. Um, and we're going to go ahead and dump that egg right there right in the center. Little. Okay. And that helps us because we can kind of see when the egg starts bubbling up. And it, if you mix it in right away, the egg will be unrecognizable. You know, right, you won't kind of just little flakes of egg everywhere. This will give us almost like an omelet. And, okay. and so you'll be able to recognize those eggs. And I think that's a good thing. It looks, yes. looks a little better. So. A good food safety tip. Yeah. So um, we're going to let this, it says cook for a minute. Now, okay. again, if it starts bubbling up and you think it's going to burn on the bottom of your pan, uh, you're more than welcome to go ahead and stir that in already. And it looks like right. ours is going get, to get there pretty quickly. And that's a full egg. Right. Those are that's two eggs. It that's two. Two okay. eggs. Yep. Two eggs. And you two eggs uh, mixed you, with fork. Yep. Okay. You break the yolks and uh, kind of scramble those up a little bit so that um, you've got a nice, again, aesthetically pleasing egg mixture there. So um, we're gonna let that egg cook for one minute, and then we're gonna basically finish this thing out, which is adding our pepper flakes, our hot sauce pineapple mm -hmm. tidbits and our cooked shrimp and then again at the end we'll go ahead and add all the rice and, um, and we'll, we'll warm that up. The, uh, the rice, it's good to go ahead and cook ahead. You can even cook the rice ahead um, the day before and keep it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. um, stir fried rice okay. is definitely better whenever it's cold when you add it, I think. Um, it's just not as mushy, it doesn't get as, you know, the consistency right. is just a little better. So. Okay. Now with the hot sauce, are you a hot sauce fan? I am. I like okay. I like spicy things. You don't like spicy things? No. We can but leave it seems it like out. everybody yeah, with you my cook out. does. Like <laughs> everybody else does. Which is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just that the spice covers up the flavor, right? You just you throw enough spice in there, nobody knows what it tastes like anyway. But that's a part that you can add more or less depending yeah. on your tolerance level as well, right? Right. Yeah. And because you also have the flakes, which is also going to add a little spice. Going to add a little heat too. Yeah. Um, 
So those things are definitely optional. The other two mm -hmm. optional things we don't have today on the recipe, there's, it calls for um, a handful of chopped peanuts. So if you want to add those in, I think oh, that would yeah. be a good flavor. Probably give it some good mm -hmm. flavor. And then the, the green onions. So okay. um, we don't have those today. They do say optional on the recipe. Um, if you want to add those in, you can at the end just add right. those in. Or you can Absolutely. put them right next to the little plate and... Uh, because you're not going to cook the peanuts, no, right? No, yeah, that yeah. would just be on top. It will yeah. just be right okay. there on top, and so you, you know, now, whoever's eating it can. What we're making it. is going to make six servings, and the servings are one cup each. The cost for the whole recipe, according to the calendar, is eight dollars and forty-nine cents, <laughs> which is actually one of the more expensive ones that we have. Mm -hmm. I believe that's probably because of the shrimp. shrimp it's yeah. really hard to find shrimp at a good price. So, if you want to cook chicken ahead or cook pork or cook mm -hmm. beef and you don't like shrimp you can add any cooked yeah. pre as long as you cook it beforehand um and get a protein in there yeah and you can you what can you add whatever eggs, I guess. And it's kind of funny i was looking at this before we started it does to make it a meal each one of these has a has a way you can make mm -hmm. it a meal it does say that you can eat it with pork chops which i thought was kind of funny because you know we've got everything we need right here in this right. fried rice so if you didn't want to add pork yeah. chops and you want to just eat this with a salad and some milk, then then that I think that would probably give you all your nutrition yes. value. Yes, and it does say a garden salad would be another good side, which would be nice. And your skim or low-fat milk. Yeah. Yes. Because so, um, I was told, too, by a nutritionist, which we have somebody who may have knowledge <laughs> about that here, uh, when we used to do something with the Lincoln Trail District Health Department, that adults, nobody beyond being a child actually needs to drink anything more than, like, low-fat or skim milk, right? Like for 2%, yeah. you don't and really need that at that by that point. Our uh, kids foods, maybe, but after two years old. Our foods are our, so... Yes, thank um, you. After two years old, that, that's not really... Our foods are so fortified that. with all kinds of vitamins and, and even our milk. Um, they add all kinds of vitamin D, whole milk, mm -hmm. they add that. So um, that's not naturally found. It's added in. So a lot of our foods have supplements added in that we don't necessarily know about. So. Yeah. Um, all right, let's yes. go ahead and add those last four things on the end, Gary, okay. if you don't mind. So we got pineapple tidbits. Pineapple. That's in the eight ounce uh, can. So we'll add that in. And again, this is just to kind of heat everything up. If you want to mm -hmm. go ahead and throw those red pepper flakes. Red pepper. That's a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Some of that spice. Again, don't <laughs> add it if you're not a spice fan. This is a tablespoon of hot sauce. Okay. So we'll go ahead and add that in. We're kind of going to mix that up. Show it to the camera. So mm -hmm. um, you can see a lot of that soy sauce is kind of cooked out of it. You see a lot of steam yes. coming up into our face. So um, that's a good thing. It won't be very mushy once we add that rice. <coughs> if we would have added the rice when it called for it, um, all that soy sauce would have soaked into the rice. And, yeah. and again, it just looks a little mushy. So. And the shrimp. Now it calls for half a cup. I say we just put it all in there because we've okay. got it. I like shrimp. Uh, I like shrimp too. And then, you know, we can we can uh, share that with the next group that's coming into our office today. Yeah. So that'll be good. They'll always like busy that. here. Yeah. The homemakers, they may have some tips too on how to cook it. I know. Right? They always, it's funny. Um, so after we do the show, we usually have a group of homemakers. Who, if you want to get involved in homemakers, you can always uh, call the <laughs> extension office and ask us. But they come in, and I usually let them taste these recipes that we make, and they always give give me some advice. They critique, oh, that's, <laughs> that needs some salt, or that needs. That's usually the consensus. It needs some salt. So, at home, if 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 the low sodium soy sauce didn't do it for you, by yeah. all means, add some salt if you'd like. All right, so we're, we're kind of, again, we're just heating these things up. The shrimp's already cooked. Our egg was cooked um, after we cooked it in there for a minute. So we're going to go ahead and add, um, it's two cups of cooked brown rice. So you want to make sure okay. you cook that ahead of time again. Um, mm -hmm. You don't want to be adding dry rice to this. It wouldn't, wouldn't be very appetizing, I don't think. You'd, you'd be crunching on rice for a few days. So... Um, and then, as you can yeah, see, that it's, be very good. it's very com it's very comfortable, very colorful. Mm -hmm. So uh, Absolutely. it's got some reds and some yellows and some it greens. It looks really nice. And, um, you can see it does look like the picture. Yeah, <laughs> looks better than the picture. Exactly, because right? it's real. We get to eat it. It always looks better when you're getting to eat it. That's right. Oops. Yeah, uh, and it does look like so you can a, l a lot, you know, for yeah. So I think it says it makes um, six servings. Six servings. Each mm -hmm. serving is a cup. So uh, mm -hmm. 
you know, it's a nice, easy, yeah. I mean, you saw how long that <clears throat> took. Of course, we did some things ahead of time, but um, those are things that you can also do ahead of time. Say if on Sunday um, you got the weekend available and you're able to kind of meal prep, you can chop all these things up, mm -hmm. uh, keep them in bags or freeze them. And, and you can even freeze after you're done. If you have some leftovers, you could even freeze these and reheat them if you wanted or uh, put them in the refrigerator and it lasts you at least a couple days. So um, it's good. If you're making for just one or two, you'll have leftovers, that's for sure. Absolutely. So, uh, I think we're good. Okay. And so that was just, easy, huh? Yeah, right. So um, now we get to try it. Yeah, this is this is everybody's <laughs> favorite part. I At will tell you. Favorite part. We're going to take it off the burner there, those burners. Stay I've never made uh, fried rice. <laughs> I've eaten really? fried rice. I've eaten a lot of it, but I've never, but I don't make much so of anything. This is, this but is I didn't realize time. that soy sauce was cooked in it, because I always put that on top. When oh, I'm yeah. It. <laughs> well, and some people, again, with going back to the, um, it's not salty enough. Some people, it's soy sauce already is in it, and then you add more soy sauce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's okay. Uh, all right. That looks very good. Here we go. Absolutely. Um, and then again, here's your salt and pepper if you need any of that. I like mm. to add a little black pepper onto mine, I, but again, I like things spicy. So now, black pepper I like too. Um, what do you it's think? It's very good. Very good. All right. Yeah. Very very good. That I don't need the extra soy sauce. See? Yeah, now maybe it's psychological. I didn't realize it does have it a does, little. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So you can. It's got a. It's got the pineapple juice, which is going to be a little. It's got sweet. Mm -hmm. And then it's a little salty. And mm -hmm. then it's got that kick at the end with the hot sauce and the red pepper flake. So it's got you covered all over the place. If you uh, obviously, if you don't like the the kick at the end, don't add as much red pepper. No, well, that's good. I love Very it. good. I love it. <laughs> Can't get enough of it. So and again, that's the pineapple fried rice. It's the April recipe in our 2019 food and nutrition calendar. And there are calendars now available here again in Nelson County. So come on in and get one or give a call and they can help uh, coordinate one or give us a call. We'll help get you one. Yeah. So you we can cook along with us. We are four months in, but you know, we've got but the recipes are still of the good. way and the recipes are still good. They're good all year. They're good for several years. So if you like recipes, um, these yes. are definitely some good options. And they've got some at the end of the calendar where you can just tear them out. So if, if you cook something for somebody and oh, they're wow. like, hey, we really want that yeah. recipe, you can tear them out and give one of those to your, your friends or family. And, and so it's a, it's a really nice thing. Absolutely. Um, and next month, I think we get to make Hawaiian oh. pizza, which is everyone, or is it? That was chicken and chicken ranch, and ranch mushrooms. mushrooms. I got ahead of myself. That Hawaiian pizza is so good. But, um, oh, and that's June, the Hawaiian pizza. So we'll cook through this, and we'd love for you to follow along with yeah. us. And if you have any tips, again, you know, I kind of changed this recipe up. If you make these recipes and you decide, hey, this was a little bit better, um, give us a call and let us know, and we'll kind of throw it into the show and say Absolutely. this is what worked for somebody else. So. No, I also noticed your apron. Yes. Oh, and yes. So if, thank you. If somebody needs an apron, yeah. can they come and get one of them too? They can. Um, we'd like to just kind of talk to you. We'll talk to you a little bit about food safety. That's what this mm -hmm. is. Um, food safety and conversions. The beautiful thing about this is if you have, if you need oh, a reference, down. it's upside down <laughs> so that cool. you can read it yourself. So it has a conversion table. Um, it has some abbreviations for things you might find in recipes that you might not know. Um, it's got cooking temperatures for beef, lamb, pork, ground meats, uh, fish, chicken, all that good yeah. stuff. And then uh, reminds you to wash your hands often, which we did before we started. Absolutely. Um, but it's a great, this is, a, <clears throat> this is awesome. I, we got these in just a couple days ago. So. so that's available as well. And it tells you what the egg dish is. So 160, that's why we were trying to make that's sure our egg was cooked. To, yep. Sounds make good. Make sure your eggs get all <clears throat> cooked up. So. Again, we've been here at the Nelson County Extension Office here with Luke and we've been making our fried rice. So come on in and get the recipe. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, this has been Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television.